I'm opening up some of the world's rarest Pokemon card packs over 30,000 feet in the sky. Which means, low key, I have to be quiet. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna be doing. I've got envelopes containing packs of different prices, from $1 all the way up to $1,000. And I'll be opening all of them from right here on the plane. First though, I enjoyed a nice Korean first class meal and some complimentary wine, which was a great appetizer for what was about to come. And now my friends, we open. And I've actually got this like side cabin here. And inside, we've got our packs. All of them, including the $1,000, all the way down to the one. And the very obvious start will be here, the $1 pack. Inside is also a little bit of a treat for us. You'll see in a sec, well, it's two treats, technically. It's trick or treat, Pokemon style. Also too, I have uh, penny sleeves and top loaders. I had to skim my personal collection and steal these from it, from rare cards, <laughs> so that I had things to use on this trip. So let's hope we need them. Okay, cool. One dollar pack. This is the 2023 uh, trick or trade Pokemon cards. And I think in here we're looking for the holographic Pikachu. So we've got our Miss Magius, our Delmize, only three cards inside. We get a hollow Houndstone. So that's what you get for a dollar. I'm just gonna put all the cards <laughs> inside this one. Okay, now we're moving up. We've got a $5 pack of Pokemon cards, which looks like, ah yes, it's the brand new Pokemon 151. This set has been a great time. I think we're getting ready to land, actually. We probably should open these packs kind of fast, but not too fast, because there's a lot to see here. But out of 151, we've obviously been opening a ton of this, looking for anything secret, art, rare, but again, we gotta kind of hold our composure because we're on a plane. Gengar Hollow, nothing cool. All right, next up, we've got <laughs> the $10 pack. And out of this, ooh, this is cool. This is Sun and Moon base set right here. So this set, I feel like not a lot of people really know about or are thinking about or talking about right now, but Sun and Moon base set is cool because, well, obviously Umbreon right now is the king of Pokemon. Not so much Charizard, it's Umbreon. And in this set, there's a rainbow rare Umbreon to pull that is, I don't know how much it's worth, definitely not as much as this seat that I'm sitting in, unfortunately. There's no way these cards are gonna help pay me back for this trip. Carvana, <sighs> that hurts. We got some juice, complimentary juice, cheers. We've got another pack to open. It's the $20 pack. And I, listen, again, I ripped these off of my personal collection and we haven't used a single one yet. So maybe out of this pack, oh, let's go, dude. I, I kind of forgot what I, I, I put, I packed these, but I kind of forgot what I packed them with. We've got X and Y Roaring Skies, which is fitting because we're roaring in the skies. Look, see? You can't, you can't see, it just makes the whole video worse. Okay, forget I did that. All right, X, Y, Roaring Skies. This set is so fun to open up because inside this set, we've got really, really cool, obviously, Rayquaza cards, like you could see on the pack art. So hopefully out of Roaring Skies, we see something cool. X and Y era, it's three cards to the front. I don't wanna like mess this card trick up. We've got a Tranquil. Glysar, this is, dude, Rayquaza Spirit Link, come on. I mean, there's cards in here worth hundreds of dollars. And I'm not gonna lie, I think I see a little something in the back. But right now, I'm actually on my way to South Korea for a Pokemon Go event, and I will be picking up a whole lot of Pokemon cards while I'm in South Korea as well. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already, because we'll have some amazing videos coming out of South Korea. And our first hit, the whole freaking Oh wait, dude, oh my god. Is that the biggest hit in the set? No way! I want to yell, but I can't yell. Oh my god, I can use a sleeve. Let's go. Dude, this is only the 20... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to top load this. I'm going to top load this. This is only the $20 pack. No way, bro. No. <laughs> Let's freaking go, dude. Mega Rayquaza EX out of the Roaring Skies pack. The card honestly looks in great quality. There's a little bit of whitening on the edges, but X and Y is a little tough, so yeah, I'm just grab that. Thank you. I'm I'm becoming a, a nuisance, honestly. We gotta open these packs up fast. They're gonna serve breakfast very soon here. And my whole I mean look at my setup right now to film this. <laughs> my my phone's in my shoe. <laughs> Makes a good tripod though. Well hey listen. Freaking Mega Rayquaza EX. 
I'll drink some juice to that. Okay, what's next? I, I mean, can we even top that? That was incredible. Maybe we can, because now we have a $50 pack. All right, $50 pack, my phone's in a shoe, recording the openings. What's gonna be inside the 50? Yes, XY Phantom Forces. Let's go. I was really, really excited to get this set right here. This is another X and Y era. I think if I, oh no, here's the code card. Um, I actually ended up buying a huge lot of rated cards and uh, these packs right here, XY Phantom Forces packs. Uh, and the graded cards, something really cool is happening here on the channel very soon. So can't give away too much, but stay around. And, uh, and again, make sure you subscribe if you're not, because it's gonna be really exciting. Okay, Swirlix, let's go. This is Phantom Forces. In this set, we're looking for Gengar. Wasn't that a white code card? This means that there should be a hit, right? This is X and Y. I don't know what just happened there. That was $50, by the way. Well, what's better than $50? It's $100. Oh, also, too, look how cool this is. These are like our own Mystic Rips bubble mailers. Isn't that sick? We've actually been uh, doing a lot of rips uh, and, and openings on TikTok because they have like a live selling feature now. Super fun. So we've been sending uh, all people's packages in our own like Mystic Rips envelopes. So check us out on TikTok if you're interested in that. In the $100 pack, oh, it's big. It's big. That's so cool. Black and white base blister pack, dude. This is like the original hanging on the thing blister pack. Look at this, new, oh, this is so cool. Exciting new discoveries, powerful new Pokemon, more epic battles. When was this released? I don't know if it says on here. Contains one black and white TCG booster pack, how cool. Look, this brings you a legion of over 70 new Pokemon from the newly explored Unova region. Where's uh, where's all my nostalgic homies? Let me know in the comments if this is bringing back some major nostalgia for you. Well, this is gonna be cool, and let's see if, it, if I can open it. This looks like a hard thing to open. Do I need scissors for this? I can't ask them for scissors. I've been annoying enough on this flight. I've had like wine and ice cream and, oh, okay. I've just been asking for too much. I can't ask for scissors, but here it is. The $100 black and white base set pack coming out of the blister, dude. I don't think I've ever opened this set before, by the way. So I guess we're gonna have to check this out now and see what we get. You know what, hold on. I feel like the juice brought us luck. It's guava juice, it's honestly delicious. It's a $100 pack of Pokemon cards. Ooh, there we go, from the black and white era. This is the code card. Oh my God, wait, this is before code cards. This is before, what's the card trick? I'm gonna do two to the front, I think it's three. I'm just gonna do two to be safe though, and we're gonna see what happens. Okay, $100 pack of black and white era. We got Aldino. Do wow, this is so cool. You can notice it's old because it has these like, obviously like the design on the bottom here, like that line, very X and Y, black and white era thing. Timber, he looks so much bigger than he actually is. Ducklet, a dove, kind of said that, I, okay, I think it was three to the front because we've got a reverse holographic pig knight. Please, it's out of a blister pack. No way we don't get a big hit. It's a Lilligant and I think, I think that's the rare. Yeah, oh God. No, come on, I just wanna use the penny sleeves. Okay, well rest in peace that. And also they're starting to serve breakfast, so we kinda gotta speed this up so I can be out of their way. Oh my God. Well, we're not just, we're just not messing around right now, are we? Straight up to a five, $500 pack? One to 500? Oh God, okay. I think I remember what's in here. I think I just bent the pack. I think I just bent the $500 pack in half. Oh no. Yes, yes, okay. This is big. This is big because this right here, you're now shiny hunting. New Revelation has some of my favorite cards that have ever existed ever. The Shining Magikarp, and my personal favorite, the Shining Gyarados. And that's what we're looking for right now, Shining Gyarados. Okay, let's see. Oh my God. This is actually a pack that's been, I think, sitting in my personal collection for quite some time. Well, the nice thing is if we pull something great out of that, we do have a card saver now. I'm gonna add that to our collection of things to store Pokemon cards in, but $500 booster pack of Neo Revelation. I actually don't think this is worth $500, honestly, but right now it is. This is so cool, dude, the OG Wizards of the Coast. Man, the Neo era is my absolute favorite era. Okay, I'm, they're, they're serving breakfast and they're gonna skip me for now, so just know that I am not eating. 
so that you and I can enjoy some incredible packs of Pokemon cards. I think Neo is two to the front. I don't exactly know, but again, let's call it a $500 pack. This is a $500 pack of Pokemon cards. Neo Revelation, one of the best, dude. And again, some huge hollows to pull out of here. But what we're looking for is the Shining Gyarados. Again, that is my favorite, favorite Pokemon card to ever exist. And then I'm like a big Dragonite guy after that, like Dark Dragonite from Team Rocket looks fantastic, but this is so cool. We got a Chinchou, we got a Shuckle. Dude, the OG, man, this is sick. Again, this is so cool. To, we should do more openings in the plane. This is, this is nice. It makes like sitting here make more sense. Although again, I'm very much so in the way. Hold on, one more. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cheers with the juice. Okay. We've got a Geodude, a Quillfish, come on. A Skip Plume, dude. God, if we get a Shining on here, I'm gonna freaking get kicked off. Let's go, it was three to the front. Oh my God, no way, we got a Hollow. Look at the swirl, look at the swirl. No shot. I'm gonna put the mic closer to my mouth so I can be more excited, but not be as loud. Look at the swirl. <laughs> okay, listen. I don't know how big of a hit this is, but I know that Neo Revelation has some very expensive holographic cards. So this definitely could be one of those. Oh my God, we got a hollow, bro. Dude, this, look at this. Look how beautiful this card is. He's got a squirrel, swirl like right on the tip of his tail too. How artistic is that? It's like gorgeous. Wow, looking at the condition of this card. Corners look really good. The bottom corners is a little bit of whitening on it. Um, and then the hollow foil, uh, there's a, like a print mark, you can see it, it's right there, that line going down, so unfortunately not gonna come out to a PSA 10, but still, such a cool card to pull on an airplane, might I add, you know, just leave a like on the video for that, right, for my inconvenience, well, let's take this, and instead of putting it in the, you know what, we're gonna put it in the top loader, I know I have the card saver, um, but let's top loader this, just because, like, the top loader offers a lot sturdier protection than a card saver, especially with us being, I'll be traveling, I'm here in uh, South Korea for the next couple of days for a Pokemon Go event, and then for a bunch of Pokemon card stuff, um, and then heading actually to New York after this for my birthday. So when this video is uploaded, it might actually be my birthday, so that's fun. So far, we have opened up a Mega Rayquaza EX and a Holographic Houndoom for Neo Rev. This has been pretty sick so far, but now we've got the last pack that we're gonna open up, the most expensive pack. As you can see, a $1,000 pack of Pokemon cards. We have to open this up quickly so that they can serve my breakfast because they're kind of waiting for me. I feel bad about that, honestly. But $1,000 pack of Pokemon cards on an airplane, 30,000 feet in the sky. It's going to be a base set pack. And it's not just any base set pack. It's a long stem base set pack but not just any long stem basic pack. It weighs 21.33 grams. This, my friends, is a heavy long stem base set pack. This is not something you open up every day and not something you really open up at all because it's long stem heavy. This is like a cool collector's edition, but we're gonna open it up here on the plane on our way to South Korea. Let's see what we can get from a Heavy, oh dude, look how cool this is. It's, it literally never gets old, opening up base set packs, never gets old. Let's see what we can get with this, dude, Wizards of the Coast on the back. Oh, oh God, I'm butchering this pack, this poor 20 year old pack. I just don't want to met. oh look at the, it's got the little thing to hang it on the shelf, that's so cool. Oh, here we go, got it. Nice and safely here. Oh, nice and safely. Oh, okay, well, that's not, that's not safe, we're gonna put that guy away. All right, you know what we're doing here, okay? You know what we're doing. We're gonna flip this over, we're gonna go three to the front. Dude, this is so cool. Right here, that is gonna be a Charizard. And to make sure, we're gonna take the juice, we're gonna tap it for luck. All right, all the juice is gone. I have drank the last of the luck juice. And let's see what we got here. Base set, bro, base set, the original base set. Oh, it's so so bright, it's nice. They turn all the lights on from the base set pack, fantastic. We've got a Kakuna, a Super Potion Trainer, an Ivysaur, yes, dude. This will get sleeved for sure. Anything that's a starter is gonna be a big win here. We've got a Ratatata, Energy Removal. And by the way, what heavy means is that there should be a holographic card inside this pack. 
which is why I think we might pull a Charizard Metapod. Ghastly. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. You know, the Leonhardt Energy. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. We're actually almost at 100,000 subs, if not there already. And on the airplane, from 30,000 feet in the sky, out of a heavy base hit pack, it's gonna be a Venusaur. We got a holographic base hit Venusaur. Dude, that's perfect because the Ivysaur came out of it. This is obviously one of the biggest hits in the entire set. It's a big three Venusaur hollow from the base set pack. Let's freaking go at a PSA 10. This is a very expensive card and just an awesome piece of Pokemon history to pull here in the airplane, in the sky, along with the other amazing hits. That's insane. Leave a like if you enjoyed. I'll see you on the next video. Let's go.